Hi, I'm Steve Knudsen. I'm a Microsoft MVP for SharePoint Online or Office um, Servers and Apps now. So, sorry, Office Office Services and Apps as they call it now. Um, today what I'm going to do is talk to you a wee bit about the SharePoint Mega Menu. So the Mega Menu is rolling out at the moment and has recently become available in our tenants. So I thought I'd give you a, have a bit of a play and then give a walkthrough of what it actually does. So what I have in front of me here is a SharePoint Online um, modern site. This is actually a hub site. And connected to that I have a team site and a communication site so I can show you how the navigation works. So the way um, navigation in, with a hub site works is basically pushes that navigation out to any connected sites. Um, in this case my hub site is a communication site template So, um, and I think that's required to actually get, get us going. So if I click onto the cog um, and go look at change the look, the first thing you'll notice is this here is changed and one of the options in here is navigation. If I choose the navigation option, you can specify between the classic um, cascading vertical menu uh, or the new mega menu option. So I'll just choose mega menu and I've already selected that option so I'll cancel out. When I do that and then click into the edit option on the side over here, I'll get the new options for adding uh, my navigation in. So under the navigation I have the ability to uh, create a three level hierarchy. So I've got the, the team site which is my navigation at the top here. Uh, then I've got my next layer down which is the process layer as a label and then underneath that a series of links. So let's go and have a look at that. So if I click into the um, processes label, you'll see the type here is URL. Um, what I can also do is I can change that to a header. So the header makes it the header item on the, the list. Uh, or I can change, uh, and I can change the order as well. So I can change these things, move them up and down and promote them to be a sublink, which is the third level down, if you like, from the navigation to the heading to the sublink. Um, over here I've got one for corporate services. Corporate services is a header. Um, header doesn't, um, with no address. And then underneath that I've got a, um, a series of sites. I've got finance, information technology and human resources. So if I go over to my navigation here and look at my corporate services link, you'll see that that matches up with the sites listed underneath here. These are all hyperlinks whereas the heading itself is not. So really that's all there is to it. You basically go into here, create your different headings, uh, add the links on and when you're done uh, you can um, choose to then save out of the menu. So I'm trying to skip the bottom here and just click cancel just to close that out. So now if I hover over my menu I'll get the new mega menu layout. Um, I can have uh, links to things which don't necessarily follow the site structure. They can link to external websites. They could be links to documents or pages within SharePoint. Um, and they can link unrelated things together. So a nice way to, um, to build up a navigation structure that doesn't necessarily follow the structure of the site itself. Um, so as you can see, very easy to set up. Uh, this will be really popular with people that are migrating off classic SharePoint 2013 or, or older intranets that are um, used to using mega menu products. Um, in their environments uh, because up until now the options for doing this in SharePoint have been very limited so congratulations Microsoft, I think you've done a nice job for version 1. Um, look forward to things like audience targeting on particular link items, that would be great um, and maybe the ability to put in some styling around things like images and so on in the future as well uh, but yeah, for the first cut I think this is actually quite usable and um, I think it will be very popular. Um, one thing to note is now if I flick into my team site over here um, you'll see the URL has changed to my demo team site and the navigation, um, mega menu navigation will continue to work um, on here with my page to load. So my internet's going a wee bit slow but you'll see it's followed through to the team sites. Um, if I go and look at the team site, uh, change the look option however, over here you don't get the navigation option because I'm linked to a hub so that content is running through from the hub. Now I've also got a, a demo com site um, which is also linked to the to the hub. If we go and look at the change the look options under the, um, the demo com site, hopefully I can't wait for my screen to rebuild. Internet's appallingly slow here this afternoon. Um, click onto there and go to my um, change the look here. You'll see that um, again I get the navigation option. So this navigation option is only rolled out to com sites. So if you're using team sites that aren't connected to a hub, then unfortunately this option is not available to you. Anyway, that's a quick um, quick roundup of um, of the SharePoint um, Mega Menu uh, as it stands at the moment. I look forward to seeing lots of improvements to this over the coming months. I uh, hope that's been useful to you. Cheers.